Here to talk about what's being called the last Da Vinci is Eileen Sitchkin, a professor of economics at Bilgi University. Eileen, tell me exactly how much this art piece was sold for. Okay, let me tell you. $400 million plus commissions and buyer's premium, which means another $50.3 million. Wow. It's almost half a billion dollars. <laughs> Going, that was given yeah, going, uh, to for a beautiful a, for a art piece, though, the Salvatore Mundi. Uh, it's beautiful, but uh, it is, uh, is, it a, is it a real Da Vinci? I have some doubts. Well, um, that's what I was just going to ask you. People are questioning if it is the real Da Vinci. What do you have uh, to say about that? Look, I'm not an uh, art historian. However, uh, my point of view is just examining the prices, previous prices. Uh, the, the painting, uh, the most recent, um, the, when they said um, it was discovered uh, as a Da Vinci painting, it was sold for $80 million to, uh, to an American. And then a couple of years later, this person sells the painting to a uh, Russian uh, billionaire. And he pays 127 point, uh, 127 million dollars, uh, more or less. Now, the question is, if it is a real Da Vinci, why the Russian uh, collector, billionaire collector, wouldn't like to keep it a little bit more, mm -hmm. a little bit longer, uh, and, you know, see what happens? And then this painting itself belongs to the old masters Well, what uh, was it auctions. that actually made people question if it was a Da Vinci uh, First of all, um, the painting was um, really restored, over-restored. And there were some cracks and some mistakes uh, such that these mistakes couldn't be done by Da Vinci. Um, the best scenario is that this painting belongs to a student of Da Vinci from uh, from his uh, his uh, his group, and maybe Da Vinci touched to a couple of uh, places of this painting. But I'm talking about the painting before the restoration. The painting was uh, restored um, too many times, and it's too they say it's too new and too old at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, with so many questions, I wonder how Christie's could push forward for this auction, well, instead of selling it in a private sale. Uh, why to make a big event? Yeah, well, a lot of people are dying to find out who bought this painting. Um, uh, we can speculate, of course. There were five bidders in the, uh, in, in for the auction. One in the room and four on the phone. Um, three people from Asia, one from Indonesia, one from Taiwan, and another from Hong Kong and one from Europe, one from Americas. They didn't specify. Some uh, speculate uh, for the American uh, as he could be Bill Gates. I, I, I don't know, I haven't heard that. Uh, for Europe, probably uh, another Russian billionaire was interested to, to get the painting. And um, my, um, my guess is uh, it's, a, it's a Chinese collector. Well, do you think that the Salvatore Mundi will ever go on display ever again? Uh, yes, because, I mean, there is no, there is no way that uh, we, we cannot see that. It, it will take it, its place in, in some of the um, display places, not an uh, official museum. Uh, um, another important thing is that uh, the thing which uh, proves that the price is right, uh, there are only 20 Da Vinci paintings in the world. Uh, known paintings and 15 belong to a museum and only this belongs to a, to an individual. Well, it's the, uh, it would be amazing to see the Salvatore Mundi in real life as well. We hope that it would go up uh, onto an exhibition. I, I, I hope to, but uh, uh, with a caution. Uh, maybe they will find the true uh, Salvatore Mundi uh, later on. But what I suggest, I speculate, uh, uh, there will be more discoveries in the upcoming years. Uh, That's a know, great given, note to leave given, off on. Given the this price, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yes, thank you so much for joining us on our oh, show today. You're welcome.